Good morning. I am Larry Kirkpatrick. I'm the pastor of the Muskegon and Fremont, Michigan Seventh-day Adventist churches. And I want to talk to you today about what's called momentary prayer. That's right, momentary prayer. Well, what in the world is it? Momentary prayer is a quick kind of prayer that it's not scheduled. Uh, it's not something we do at the beginning of worship or that we do uh, at the beginning of a meal or a worship event. Momentary prayer is unscheduled and it happens throughout your day. You could be driving, you could be talking with somebody, uh, you could have any number of a kinds of situations where you just want a word with heaven. It could be you just want to give him spontaneous praise, you could just want to uh, give thanks for something and encourage that spirit of thankfulness in you. It could be because you want him to intervene and give you insight or give you just the right words to speak as you're talking to somebody. Let's look at a case of it here in the Bible. This is the book of Nehemiah. I'm going to read from the chapter 2 at the beginning uh, verses of it here. Here's Nehemiah. The case is that he's a cupbearer in the king, uh, King Artaxerxes Longimanus. He's serving as his cupbearer. And uh, so there's news that comes from Jerusalem that uh, the people there, the believers, are in a very bad way. And Nehemiah is very troubled, and so he begins to pray, praying to God about this, fasting even, uh, and, and prays over a period of time. And finally he prays that if God will, that God will give him some intervention with King Artaxerxes and do something um, remarkable. So here we'll pick it up at verse 1. Nehemiah 2 verse 1, And it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the twentieth year of King Artaxerxes, when wine was before him, that I took the wine and gave it to the king. Now I had never been sad in his presence before, therefore the king said to me, Why is your face sad, since you are not sick? This is nothing but sorrow of heart. So I became dreadfully afraid, and said to the king, May the king live forever, why should my face not be sad, when the city, the place of my father's tombs, lies waste, and its gates are burned with fire? That's verses 1 to 3. Now here's the spot where something happens. Listen at verse 4. Then the king said to me, What do you request? Now let me tell you, this is the perfect time for momentary prayer, and that's exactly what Nehemiah does. Here's what happens next. So I prayed to the God of heaven, and I said to the king, If it pleases the king, and if your servant has found favor in your sight, I ask that you send me to Judah, to the city of my father's tombs, that I may rebuild it. And you know what? That's exactly what happened. But how did it happen? Nehemiah sent a momentary prayer up to God, and God answered what did he pray? We're not told the exact uh, wording. He must have prayed for uh, Artaxerxes' heart to be softened so that he would want to give uh, the kind of positive answer that would help God's kingdom. He, he may have prayed for um, exact, for just the right words. Nehemiah may have prayed for just exactly the right words, the best words he could speak in that setting to help the king give an answer of peace. So these are some ways that we can pray and be engaged in momentary prayer. We talked just yesterday about uh, Romans 12, verse 12, where it speaks of being continuous in prayer. And this is one of those ways we can do it. Throughout our day, uh, just be in connection with God, lift up your heart to Him, and He wants to answer in these beautiful ways. Well, right now, let's have a, a prayer with Him. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, we want to be engaged in you with prayer continuously. And one of the ways we can do that is through momentary prayer, a prayer when we don't have to kneel or, cl or close our eyes. We can just be driving or e even talking with somebody. But Lord, we have found by experience that you often, just as you did for Nehemiah, you can answer our prayer and give us just the right thing to say or do. And so help us, Lord, and help us to be in connection with you and to practice the discipline of momentary prayer. And Lord, I know your blessing will be upon each one who does this from their heart. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, maybe you haven't done this before, or maybe you do it all the time, but uh, I want to encourage you to try it out. Spontaneous prayer, momentary prayer, instant in season. It has different names, but I like to call it momentary prayer. Prayers you send up just in a moment and receive a momentary answer. God be with you today as you talk to him, possibly more times than you've ever talked to him in one day. Have a wonderful day.